U.S. President Barack Obama will keep 5,500 U.S. troops in Afghanistan when he leaves office in 2017. Obama had originally planned to pull out all but a small embassy-based U.S. military presence by the end of next year, a timeline coinciding with the final weeks of his presidency. Reversing its policy on Afghanistan, U.S. President Barack Obama on Thursday said he would prolong the 14-year-old U.S. military engagement there. Obama had aimed to withdraw all but a small U.S. embassy-based force at Kabul before he left office. But under the new plan, troops will be drawn down to 5,500 starting sometime in 2017 and based at four locations, Kabul, Bagram, Jalalabad and Kandahar. The bottom line is, in key areas of the country, the security situation is still very fragile. And in some places, there's risk of deterioration. Fortunately, in President Ghani and Chief Executive Abdullah, there is a national unity government that supports a strong partnership with the United States. The U.S. president has been under pressure from his military advisors, the Republicans, and a bipartisan group of national security experts to keep U.S. forces in Afghanistan. The Afghan forces have struggled to deal with the Taliban, which briefly took control of Kunduz. It is the right decision. And finally, Barack Obama listened to the uh, U.S. generals, which is they was the head of ice of command in Kabul. Um, early withdrawal 2014, that was the biggest mistake. The tragedy of Kunduz can be one example of that mistake. The U.S.-led coalition in Afghanistan ended its combat mission at the end of 2014 and has since been helping Afghan troops who are in charge of the country's security. Afghan President Ashraf Ghani has been more supportive of the U.S. presence than his predecessor Hamid Karzai who left office last year. Ghani said Obama's decision would help his government fight a ruthless and cunning enemy. Kadidi News.